Fred with the shot. <laughs> Manchester United versus Crystal Palace. Ralph Rangnick's first game as Manchester United manager. And as a United fan, I'm super, super excited for tomorrow's game. I'm heading off to Old Trafford tomorrow to watch the game and hopefully watch some actually good attacking football for Manchester United. We need to win. We're six points behind West Ham in fourth. We're currently in seventh place after that great victory against Arsenal. But we need to win games and we need to play better football. And I know with Ragnick coming in, we're going to play better football. But will we see that straight away versus Crystal Palace? He's only had one day to work with the squad in training, not even the full squad. He hasn't been able to bring in any coaches yet because of visa issues and short notice. But will we see a difference versus Crystal Palace? You know, I don't think we'll see a big difference for a couple of weeks. But I'm hoping what we see is good football and hopefully we can get a result. Come on, United. Manchester United 1, Crystal Palace nil. match vlog. Please smash that like button and subscribe down below to Alice Talks Football if you're new for daily Manchester United content and live streams on the channel. Like an absolute twat in my Man United hat, but Rangnick's first game. The lineup's just come out. It's an unchanged lineup from the Arsenal win. Fred and Milk Tom and I start again. We don't like to see that, but they all get a fresh late under Ragnick. And let's see if Ragnick can get Fred and Milk Tom and I playing good, playing the ball forward. Because if they're bad, they won't, you won't see much more than Fred under Ragnick if they're bad. He's only had half a day to train with the squad, so he's not going to know, you know, all the ins and outs of the squad. So I'm not going to get mad that Milk Fred is starting. It's a completely unchanged lineup. What, what he's had half a day to train with the squad. I just hope that he can get them playing good. Same lineup, but can he get them playing better football? And I think he will. I'm going to predict that we're going to win this game 2 1. Okay, turn up. We've got some nice seats right by the pitch. I'm gassed for this. Oh, we were an out of. the Messi. He's on the pitch. He's going to score today. I'm feeling it. Who when he was injured? Ronaldo's playing. He's going to score. I'm still sticking 2 0 or 2 1. Let's go. Look 
Eighth minute, tell us to the kick. Oh, cross him. Oh, oh. Yeah. Manchester United won, Crystal Palace nil at full time. Fred wins it. I'm happy with the three points, we needed that desperately. But also, I, I liked the win. It was very similar, you know, same lineup to Arsenal, same formation, all that. But you could see what Ragnick was trying to do, he was trying to attack, especially in the first half. You could see us actually attacking and creating a lot more than we did under Carrick, under Rolly. So I'm happy with the game. Um, he hasn't had enough time to influence what he wants to do, but I can see glimpses of what he wants to do. And we did play more in the front foot for a change. Delo and Tellers, two players, were super, super impressed by this game, actually. I've been skeptical about those fullbacks, but I thought they were impressive again for me. Yeah, like, subscribe, share. Thanks for watching the match vlog. We'll be live again tomorrow to give my full thoughts on the game and match reaction. Please do like and subscribe for daily United content and live streams on the channel.